Hello, my name is Father Andrew Fisher. I'm the pastor of St. Ambrose Parish in Annandale, Virginia. Lou Holtz was the coach of the Notre Dame football team beginning in the late 1980s who led the Fighting Irish to many championships. One time a reporter asked him, I notice your team says a prayer together before a game. Does God really care who wins the football game? To which Lou Holtz responded, I don't know if God cares, but I know his mother does. A great quote for a university dedicated to Our Lady. But actually that question helps us to understand our gospel today. Does God really care about the events going on in our life? And the answer is yes. Today's gospel comes from the famous Sermon on the Mount, our Lord's beautiful homily given, calling all of us to be His disciples and to follow Him. This beautiful Sermon on the Mount was given not just to the 12 apostles, but St. Matthew, an eyewitness, remembers to large crowds of men and women, young and old, with so many needs and so many struggles in life. This homily is directed to all the world and all the church. In our gospel this weekend, Jesus says, I do care. And he calls us to follow him. But he warns us it will not always be easy or convenient. To be his disciples sometimes demands great sacrifice and sometimes will involve many obstacles. But then the gospel concludes by saying, by having Jesus say, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Jesus is concerned with our well-being and all the parts of our life. Today's gospel is a great reminder. We are called to follow Jesus. We are to do so with faith, fidelity, and courage. Our challenge this week is to pray for the great virtue of courage. What are the areas in our life that God has called us to do work? And we need His grace, His guidance, and strength. Make a list of those areas of life where you are hard at work serving God and ask God for the courage to do it and to do it with faith, hope, and love. Amen. Please sign up for more episodes of Two Minutes to Virtue. Sign up with the information here and please tell family, friends, and parishioners. God bless you.